So today we're going to be dissecting the hippocampus out of an adult mouse brain. And this has already been cut in half now and it's laying on the medial surface. And the first thing I'm doing here is just cutting the cerebellum off. So I just cut between the junction between the back of the cortex and the cerebellum. This brain's been fixed in in RNA later, so it's a it's a little bit brittle and a little dehydrated and kind of raisin shape, but that actually makes it very easy to dissect for today. So now I've flipped the brain over and you're you're looking at it basically sagittally. Um, and at the bottom here is is the cortex, so this is actually the dorsal surface of of the mouse brain. This is the striatum. This is the thalamus. And then back here you basically have midbrain and brainstem. And the hippocampus is sort of cupped inside of the cortex beneath the, the thalamus and midbrain structures. So what I'm going to do now is just sort of cut the anterior portion of the brain off in front of the in front of the thalamus and I like to make this cut parallel to the cut that I made cutting the cerebellum off and what this does is it creates a nice flat surface that I'm going to place the the brain on so now the caudal part of the brain is sort of pointing up in the air and you're looking at the cortex on the top there and on the bottom the midbrain and I'm just going to peel those midbrain and thalamic structures out of the cortex to sort of separate them away from the hippocampus and cortex so now you can sort of see the inside of this cup-shaped structure and you're basically looking at the cortex and the, and the hippocampus here. So now I'm going to start kind of freeing the, the hippocampus just by pulling that away. That's cortex with a little bit of thalamus attached to it. And the hippocampus has a little white matter tract that runs, it comes off of the CA3 region, and I'm going to snip that off. If you're culturing the hippocampus, that'll, cutting that white matter tract off will help keep the oligodendrocytes out of your culture. Oh, there, I bumped the CA3 region a little bit, damaging it, but for the most part I've just cleanly cut the the white matter out of the hippocampus. And now I'm going to roll the hippocampus out away from the cortex. And the junction between the cortex and the CA1 tends to um, to break fairly easily. Now I left a little bit of cortex attached to the hippocampus right here and I'm going to go ahead and cut the rest of that off. I'm just sort of pulling it. And that's coming away pretty nicely. Yep, broke and left a little bit more cortex there. I'm dissecting on a sterile paper towel, paper towel here, and I've used marker to outline the the. Uh, area that I could see with the camera which is actually much smaller than the than the microscope and then that way I was sure to keep the my dissection within the field of view so that everyone could see it so there I'm cutting off the rest of that cortex that stayed attached to the hippocampus and now I have a fairly clean hippocampus which we can use to extract RNA from So this dissection is essentially the same if you're using fresh tissue. The, 
the fresh tissue, the brain would be much, much softer and the dissection is actually a little more difficult. So I would say this RNA later tissue is about as easy to dissect as anything. It's a little brittle, but it makes all the, the sort of natural places where the tissue can be dissected out uh, break very easily. So you get a pretty good clean dissection like that.